I haven't posted a video in a while. Uh, it's been really busy at work and whatnot. But uh, finally, uh, I ordered some parts here. Uh, ordered this from Kimpex. Uh, what I ordered was uh, fender guards. So, and also with the fender guards, I ordered the uh, foot pegs for a passenger. So I'm gonna open up this box here and uh, show you guys what it looks like. Here's the, uh, got the instructions here. And uh, these are, let's see now, this is for the uh, Sportsman uh, 500. That's like mine here. So the rack on mine is a little different than uh, what they're showing here. So I'm gonna have to, uh, or maybe not. I'm not too sure here. I'm gonna have to look at these instructions here and figure it out. But uh, here's the bars right here, the box. I've got one side here, I'll take it out. And I've got the other side. So now these are steel. And uh, I believe they come in one color, which is in black. And supposedly they're easy to put in. But uh, we'll see. And there you go, there's one right here. No, they're okay, good. So they came uh, pretty, pretty quick. I, think I ordered these at the beginning of, uh, no, and I say mid last week. And uh, they're in already, came in today. So it took about, uh, let's say, let, uh, about, uh, about a week, which I think is pretty good, especially uh, considering uh, it's tough to get stuff uh, delivered right now with this whole uh, COVID thing. So everybody's ordering online, so it's keeping the uh, couriers there, the delivery guys, pretty busy. So there you go, here's one. So this is what it looks like. I'm, I'm going to say this one is for the uh, right side and hooks up basically like this I guess, probably can't see from your side of course, kind of wrong angle, but uh, anyway, I'm going to uh, unwrap all this stuff here, there's quite a bit of hardware and the pegs of course, but uh, We'll get to that in a few minutes here. But uh, anyway, I'm going to finish unwrapping this and showing you guys what it looks like. Okay, so I got this unpacked. Here's one of them, the one that fits on this side. So somehow this hooks up to my rack and the other part hooks up right around here. But uh, not too sure yet how that works. I got a bunch of brackets here I got to take a look at. Take some brackets out of the boxes and whatnot. Start reading the instructions. And then uh, I'll be able to put this thing together. But uh, it looks like it's pretty solid. And uh, hopefully the uh, paint on here is uh, good long lasting. It's going to get scratched and so on. So I don't want the rust because it is metal. Um, other than that, um, what I'm going to do also first is remove my homemade foot stands, I guess you say. Um, basically, I built these uh, in relations to uh, my wife's height and same with the uh, my two daughters. They're both, my daughters are taller than my wife, so so when they sat in the back here, on the, the legs are long enough to be able to put their foot right here, but it's not an ideal. Uh, foot stand anyway. It worked fine. I'd also bought to the one that uh, it's a fabric uh, Kind of like a stirrup. It hooked up to your rack right here and it came down and you put your boot in there um, So it's like almost like a stirrup like riding a horse idea and that was okay but The thing is is that it was um, Your foot would slide back and forth and I noticed would be going along and the my passenger would have their foot way out like cocked out this way and I felt that was too dangerous. If we go somewhere where it's narrow, right here, you know, their foot get caught in something, you can break a foot really easy. So I decided to buy the uh, Kimpex one. So anyway, um, I'm going to uh, turn you guys off for a sec here. Uh, no sense in watching me uh, open up a box full of bolts and whatnot. 
but uh, I'll bring you back here once I've got all the hardware kind of spread out and I've had a look at the uh, instructions. Okay, as you can tell here, uh, this is all the hardware you're going to need apparently to uh, put this on. So I've got a uh, big assortment here of uh, washers and bolts and uh, nuts, whatnot, and a couple of plastic caps. And, and then you get your brackets right here. Then you've got these ones, the big ones. So I think, I haven't looked at the instructions very closely yet, but I believe that uh, these ones here would be the ones that go on the uh, on the running boards, and this would, would be going on to your uh, your rack in the back. So uh, with me here, my uh, with my sportsman, like other sportsmen, it's got that uh, plastic rack. I don't have the the uh, metal tubes type of rack. So from what I can tell. Um, no, actually I'm wrong. It looks like the big ones are the ones that go on my rack, according to the instructions here. So, these ones. So I guess these ones go running board? Not sure. But uh, I guess we should start with uh, one thing at a time, right? Not get ahead of ourselves and get it done correctly. So I can see here from the pictures that there is um, one for the Sportsman 500 and uh, the Explorer 500, one for the Magnum 325 and 500, and one for the Sportsman 700. So, so this rack here, that's what this all covers. I did send an email to Kimpax the year of my uh, ATV and make a model, and this is the uh, the model of the fender guard that they say will fit. So we'll see. Okay, so, too sure if you guys can see this, but anyway, this is the uh, bar, I guess. And uh, I think, looks like to me, like it hooks up right here. Like underneath the, uh, the rack, there's gonna be a bracket here and a bracket here. So it hooks up right around here. And then underneath the ATV, there'll be another rack, so. It's either gonna be forward or back a little bit, I'm not too sure. I'm gonna have to put the brackets on first to see, but uh, that's the next step here. I've got the hardware all laid out, so let's uh, start on the uh, hardware. hardware right here laid out. So according to the instructions, this one, uh, let's see now. Okay, these are two brackets. Okay, one goes here. this I guess yeah one right here and the other one goes this way so I'm not too sure what prevents them from kind of moving around there's only one bolt in each I guess once the bars are hooked up to it can't really move anywhere well, there's only one way to find out I guess is to give it a try so let's go with this one first According to the diagram, put one of these uh, bolts right here. It's got the Allen key end. Washer, drop it in here to the hole. There's a okay, so plastic cap. This and this. And then, bracket. Another washer. And the lock nut. I'm not going to tighten these all the way. I'm going to wait until uh, I get everything kind of together. I'm not too sure how everything's going to fit. So. Not too sure how everything's going to fit. Okay, I thought it was a number 12, but it could be wrong. Oh, it's going to be a number 13.
Yep, definitely 13. These are uh, locking nuts, so you don't have to put uh, Loctite on these. You can if you want to, if you want the extra insurance, but no need to. Okay, so I kind of snugged it up. I can still move the bracket, so I'm going to leave it like that. I'm going to put the other one on so you repeat the sequence. So it looks like the slots are here. Now this one, slots are going to be in the back. Same thing again. Put a washer. Drop it in. And those with uh, Sportsman's or whatever, the plastic rack, you'll know what I mean there by the uh, those little holes that are built into the rack themselves. The bolt stuff in. There you go. Always finger tight the nuts so you don't cross thread. Go as tight as you can with your fingers and then you can start torquing them down with a wrench or socket, whichever you want to use. Go. Okay, that's on. So let's hypothetically put this here. It looks like it looks like it's lined up. There's enough play there forward or back for it to fit. Looks that way to me anyway. Okay, next step will be to install the uh, brackets uh, underneath the uh, floorboard. Just gonna give you a better angle, see if you guys can see them. It's a little dark there, I don't have a light, flashlight to show you. But uh, here's a bracket, right here. So it bolts on to uh, right here, right through here. And then the bracket is right here. So it's loose right now, so I can adjust it. Same thing with the one in the back right here. And there's slots in it. You can see there, slot here, slot there. So you should be able to adjust uh, the bars uh, forward or backwards. And of course, bolts into here. So next step now is gonna be to uh, put the brackets underneath this right here. Okay, so the hardware for this for the ones in the back. Uh, this is what it looks like, this plate. So it kind of mounts up underneath, like this, underneath. And uh, you got these washers, bolts. I've got the, uh, sorry, washers and nut right here. I've got the bolts through here, right here. And uh, these are number 11, kind of small. Kind of surprising they're, that, that they're small because um, I don't know, to me, there's going to be a lot of weight pulling down. But, that's all they're calling for. So, but anyway. So these mount up underneath. Right here. So there should be the correct spacing. Let's hold. This. Yep, there. So. Okay. And do I have, how much thread do I have? I got some, not much sticking down, which is good. So they've got the, uh, they got it perfectly, distance-wise. So you almost need like another set of arms here. And, uh, I'm sorry, another set of hands. Um, put this up here, but uh, let's see if I can start this nut here. Once I get the first one in, it'll be a little easier to get the second one. I don't know if you guys can see, my arms are probably in the way, but here you go, I got the first one in. So that's good. Let's go for the second one here. So I put the washer on first, and then the nut after. And these are locking nuts again. You don't need Loctite, but if you want to put them, you can. There you go, On, got them on now. So I'm just going to snug them up. So then I make sure that I've got everything right. So 
just gonna snug them up so they're not moving around, flopping around. There you go. Okay. I'm gonna put them on too tight because I might have to take all this apart. So I'm following the instructions, but the instructions for this I find are a little, a little confusing, a little hard to follow. It's almost like looking at uh, a piece of furniture from Ikea, trying to put that together. You almost need a, a degree in space engineering or something. So let me uh, get the uh, the bar and uh, we'll put it in there and see what happens. Yeah, sure enough. I think I've, I've got it the wrong way. Um, I'll take it off. I'll show yeah, you that, that was the problem. Um, it's just the uh, I used the wrong bracket underneath here. So I'm not too sure if I can uh, show this to you guys. Um, let me take you off the uh, camera stand and uh, we'll give it a try. There you go. So there you go. I don't know if you can see that bracket or not. Right here, it's a little dark, but it's right underneath your running board. So there's a running board right here. And when you put it on, you gotta make sure this is nice and flat right here. There you can see it sticking out right there. So the bar comes, bolts on to here, comes around, and then goes, follows the fender, and hooks up to these brackets right here. So that's the next thing I'm gonna do. I'm gonna hook this up, and uh, I'll bring you guys back and show you what it looks like. Okay, so I've got the, uh, I've got it on right now. This is what it looks like. Looks pretty good. So I haven't tightened everything up yet, as you can tell, right here. It's gonna have to be tightened up here and here, and obviously here and here. So this is the way it goes right here. It goes right underneath running board. So it looks pretty good. I like it. Kind of tucks right in there, out of the way, so that's good. I didn't show you guys uh, putting this on here because I needed like uh, 10 hands. So um, it's just easier for me to take the tripod away and whatnot so it's not, so I wouldn't knock it over. But uh, one thing that you'll notice is that uh, these kits, they work fantastic on brand new ATVs because everything is uh, straight and perfect, right? But when you have an older ATV that's been banged around a little bit and so on, and for example, my rack, plastic rack, is not even going across. Uh, I don't even know if it's got the right spacers underneath. Um, so I know it's been rolled once because the uh, handlebars are a little bit crooked. So um, it's had a hard life uh, before I've owned it. But um, so you might have to do some tweaking here and there. But... Um, yeah, so far so good. I'm gonna finish tightening everything up and then I'll do the same thing on the other side. And I'll bring you guys back when I'm ready to put the uh, the pegs on. So I bought pegs, the foot pegs from Kimpex that fit over this right here and you can adjust them up and down. So I'm curious to see how those go on. But I'll bring you guys back when I'm uh, ready to put those on. Okay, I'm all done installing it. Um, Again, that's how it looks here, right there. And I've got the foot pegs on right now. So, um, here they are, really be used. Um, it's, uh, it's you basically to, you need the person that who's gonna be riding with you to be able to adjust the height up and down. Because uh, once you adjust it, you can't, uh, change it unless you bring a number 13 socket or 13 wrench with you and you loosen um, these two and these two and then you'll be able to slide this up and down also if you don't have a passenger with you what you do then is you take this and you flip it up it's on pretty tight but uh, there you go flip it up there's a little locking tab right there and that way they don't fall down so it's uh, pretty well lit. Um, quality, it seems good. Don't care much about the paint on it because it's already coming off. So I don't think it's, um, I think it's just painted. I don't think it's baked on. Um, but uh, I gotta have to loosen this one up as you can tell, it's a little tight. So it's probably right here, I need to loosen it. But um, 
So passenger sits in the back and basically puts his feet right here. So I'll show you here in a sec. Let me sit in the back here. There you go. So picture I'm right here. So there you go. This is where your feet would go right here and right here. So it's actually pretty comfortable. Um, you can really feel like you get a lot of grip. If you want to, you can change the angle of this here. You just loosen up the bolt on the end. You take this and you kind of turn it, either this way or that way. So, but uh, I'll leave that up to uh, the kids and my wife, how they want it um, adjusted the angle. And for the height, like I said, we'll have to uh, adjust it uh, before we go out on the trail, unless I carry a number 13 with me, a uh, wrench or socket. But uh, both the girls are about the same height, a little bit taller than my wife, so I guess it would be my wife only I would have to adjust it for. Two, two dollars would be fine. But uh, yeah, so just picture you're sitting here. Yeah, it would be a lot more comfortable than what I had before. But uh, anyway, that's it for now. Uh, my battery's about to die there on the GoPro, and it's getting late in the evening, so... I hope uh, this is, uh, I don't know, helps somebody else make a decision on whether or not to buy the Kimpex one. Uh, it's good so far. I mean, uh, other than the paint, I can see it coming off really quick, scratching really quick. Um, I don't know, maybe they should have uh, baked it on or something. Maybe, I don't know, it just doesn't look like it's going to last, but that's okay. It's an ATV, it will get scratched, right? So... Um, yeah, that's it for tonight. So, uh, if you like this, uh, please uh, hit the like button and, um, yeah. And also if you haven't subscribed yet, please do. It helps my channel. Okay. Have a good night and uh, we'll see you in the next one.